Today, it's Glyn's turn, and he travelled to Cambridge to visit Daniel's riverside restaurant, Midsummer House. Glyn's looking forward to a two-star treat. Well, we're doing the Vilkini dish because I think Vilkini's are a man's dish, and it's got snails on it, and I really want to see if he's got any balls. That's an unusual test, Daniel. Well, Glyn's certainly tucking in. Very technical, season perfect, stunning presentation. Yeah, it really is, um, really is good. Hello, young man, how are you? Hi, Daniel. Nice Absolutely stunning, mate. Good. Beautiful, that was. Beautiful. Good. I started to chew me on the pants a little bit. But, uh, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, come on, we're both... Uh, We've been, both been doing it long enough. I'm nervous as well. So Glynn's tasted the food. Now it's time to see how Daniel runs his kitchen. And this could be vital ammunition in his battle for the central crown. Yeah, a little bit nervous. Probably expecting him to try and kick my ass a little bit, but, you know, it's been kicked for the last 20 years, so it's nothing new, really. It's going to be a challenge, and I think, to you, I'm really interested in seeing his techniques. I'm very fussy. I like my kitchen to be like an oiled machine, and it would be interesting to see if he can fit into that environment. Daniel's fine diners will be expecting faultless food. Glynn's put onto the meat and fish section, but Daniel watches his every move. That was going on the tray, wasn't it? No, the tray up there. We gave you a tray up there. So I'm seasoning so, it first. No, take it out onto the tray. Then put it on here, season it, then put it in the pan. Sorry, chef. It's like A, B, C. Didn't you do dot to dot when you was a kid? No, oh, chef. It's a little bit strange having to sort of like you know answer somebody uh, you know do that, do this, do that. It's just that uncomfortable feeling of you not being the gaffer, um, which I'm sort of enjoying really because at the end of the day. It all goes up, it's his fault, not mine. As soon as it starts to colour, add the butter and then foam it, foam it, foam it, yeah? It's eight o'clock and the pressure's beginning to mount. Glynn's feeling the heat under Daniel's command. Right, we need to start concentrating now. We're going to have a venison and a pork away. We've got four scallops that are going to be called very soon. And then it's going to be a monkfish and a mackerel. Okay? I'm, I'm for the monkfish, chef. No, I've just cooked the monkey fish, haven't I? Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah um, Daniel's got a very regimented sort of army sort of way, the way he runs his kitchen. I mean, mine is similar, but not quite as regimented uh, as he's going to find out when he comes to see me. This is the big table of the evening. You need to get this one right. Three venison, two pork and one zander. We've already gone on that one. Let, let me be the chef. Sorry, I've just seen yeah, that. Yeah, just sorry. let me be the chef and you be the comic. Just for yes, once chef. in your life, shut up and listen to me. Yes, chef. It's nine o'clock and the orders are coming in thick and fast. And Glynn's more freestyle approach is getting to Daniel. It's all about method, Glynn, yeah? You get to know the methods and you should be following them. Yes, chef. Have we seasoned the scallops yet? No, chef. No pepper this time? Yeah. Black pepper, chef. No, sorry, Chef. If you put pepper on him, I swear you'll swim tonight. I promise you, on my children's lives, I'll put you in the river. What I've seen from Glynn tonight, and he's everywhere. Me, I'm a very organised person. Oh, I like things clockwork. I like this garnish to go on first, then that, then this. And I think it's a completely different style, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting competition to see two different styles of cooking totally, see who comes together on the day. Can we move up, please? Because yeah, I'll be honest with you, I'm starting to get frustrated in my own kitchen. It looks some, like the whole restaurant is now waiting for you. Yeah. I know, I've got feel it. Okay. Yeah, is that okay go. to go? Then? Yes, yes, then go. Yeah? Right, take it then. Go. Into the restaurant. <laughs> and you can explain to them why they had to wait so long. It's been a long night, this, isn't it? Yeah, I'm very nervous now, because I think uh, I've put him through his paces tonight. And he's going to go home tonight, he's going to be driving home, he's going to be thinking, he's going to think, I'm going to get him when he comes to see me. 